Hello, everyone, and welcome to Arventura TV. I'm Sandra Cepak. On today's show, we are welcoming Tony Briggs. He is the CEO of the American Red Cross of Central California and, of course, here in Ventura County. Welcome to the show, Tony. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Sandra. Wonderful. I would like you to tell us more about the American Red Cross and how you're handling blood service and donations during the COVID-19 crisis here. Sure. Well, even though we are in the midst of a global pandemic, emergencies just don't stop. And for people that need life-saving blood, that blood can't be manufactured. It's something that has to come from another living donor. And we at the American Red Cross have been just asking people to make sure that in the plans that they're making to stay sheltered in place, that they consider coming out which has been proven safe to just come out and donate blood and help up to three people uh, with that life-saving donation. Okay. The need for blood donations is extremely important, especially during this time, any disaster, but especially really now. Um, give us an indication of how the blood donation uh, would work for people that want to give blood. Sure. The one thing that people need to understand is whenever we have an emergency or where, whenever someone has a surgery or there's a car accident, it's the blood that's already on the shelf that's going to be the first that gets pulled. So what we're always trying to do is maintain a healthy blood supply in our communities. So when people sign up at redcrossblood.org and they put in their zip code and they look and they see where there's a blood drive close to them, when they get to our facility or our our mobile unit, which would be like one of our big blood mobiles, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to take their temperature to make sure that, you know, they're feeling well. And if they have a temperature, well, we're going to defer them and ask them to make an appointment in the future and come back when they're feeling well. And once we do that, then we start the process. Um, that process is we do a health screening. We, uh, we take their temperature again. We check their iron levels and we make sure that we've sanitized everything. Um, we're wearing mask. We ask our, our clients that are coming in to donate to wear a mask. They come in, they donate blood. It's about an hour tops. And we make sure that they get some snacks. You know, one of the great things about donating blood is getting the cookies afterwards. It, it's actually kind of fun when you're just kind of chilling out, you know, realizing that you're making a difference in someone's life and somebody gives you cookies for a reward. Right. So, you know, in about an hour's time, you can save, you can help save up to three lives. It's an incredible feeling. And as you mentioned, uh, blood cannot be manufactured. So the donations are extremely important. How extremely important is it for Ventura County? How are you experiencing things here in Ventura County? Well, here in Ventura County, we've been absolutely just blessed in the folk in the folks that have rolled up a sleeve and they've come out to our mobile blood drives throughout the county. Um, we've been hosting them in our Camarillo office and we've seen a lot of people come out and they said, you know, I feel like I have to do something during this, this episode. Yeah. And this is the one thing that I can do. It's something that I have control over because a lot of people feel like in this pandemic, they don't have any control. And donating blood is something that's really easy and they can do it. Right, right. Now you mentioned blood having a shelf life. How long is that? And um, what is that all about? So it's usually about 56 days. Okay. So in that period, we're trying to make sure that when a hospital calls and they say that they need this type, that we're getting it to them. Now, what we're also looking to do is we're also trying to make sure that we have plasma available for people who need it. And you can donate plasma a little more, a little more often, about 24 times a year. Now, donating plasma is not something that we do in Ventura County per se, because it does take a little more equipment. Mm -hmm. But we do have a facility that's in Woodland Hills for people that don't mind taking that drive. Absolutely. And nowadays with the 101 being wide open, uh, you don't have to fight traffic so much. Right. Now, during the COVID-19 crisis, is there a blood shortage here in Ventura County or are we pretty much covered? Uh, what is that? I believe that we're doing very well. We have very good inventories right now, but what we're asking people um, to do is to make an appointment in the next two to three weeks, mm -hmm. the next month, the next six weeks. Um, put that on your calendar so that 
we can continue to maintain a healthy blood supply. Because what would happen is if I say we're great, then people won't, they won't think about making um, a donation in the next four to six weeks. So my plea to everyone watching is make an appointment, go to redcrossblood.org, make an appointment in the near future, make sure you keep it, show up, roll up a sleeve and help save lives. And that'll keep the supply going. So that's very important. Definitely. We want to make sure that we don't get to a point where we're not being able to help people who have surgery who's planned or cancer patients or people who have accidents. You know, if you're in a car accident, you can require up to 100 units of blood. And, and that's a lot. And we want to make sure that we're there, that the blood is there and it's ready to go when it's needed. Very good. I would like to point out that volunteers are an extremely important part of what you do and volunteers really make the american red cross what it is so no. i'd like you to focus on that a little bit and tell us about the volunteer process and if someone is interested in volunteering how that works especially now during covid 19. well we're doing a lot of our volunteer work virtually um, there's a lot of things that we can do um, using the technology that we're using right now to do this interview. So if anyone is interested in, in becoming a Red Cross volunteer, the process couldn't be simpler. You go to redcross.org slash volunteer and you can get started there. We'll reach out to you. We'll do a quick background check. We'll show you everything that's available and we'll ask you what your interests are. You'll actually be talking to a live person that will help you figure out exactly where you might fit. And if what we come up with is great, you'll stay in that role. Um, if you find out, well, maybe I want to try something else. We're super flexible. Um, Believe it or not, more than 90% of the work that Red Cross does is done by volunteers. So we need volunteers. And with fire season approaching, we want to make sure that we have people who are trained to help us open up shelters and run those shelters. We want to make sure that we have people that can help us in our warehouse with logistics. Um, there's a lot of different roles that we have, and we would love to have people go to redcross.org slash volunteer to get started. So even now during the pandemic, as you mentioned, uh, there are chances to volunteer. There are opportunities. There are, and we've been helping. Um, we've been helping other nonprofits um, during this time, and our volunteers have just been absolutely wonderful. Um, where we're not doing as much physically as we normally do, we've just made the pivot to do things virtually. And some of our volunteers are actually supporting other volunteers and other nonprofits virtually. So it has been a, a, a just a mind-blowing experience in the fact that in all of this uncertainty, the one thing that we know is we can count on our volunteers and we're so grateful for each and every one of them. That's great to hear. If you can, please share the website with us one more time. I don't, you know, if you, sure, if you feel that um, there are uh, an opportunity to share that, uh, to give people an opportunity to learn more about what you do and also for volunteers. Sure. The best way to learn about what the Red Cross does is go to redcross.org. Now, there, that website will show you everything that we're doing here in Ventura County. It'll show you how you can get plugged in as a volunteer. It can show you how you can donate if you'd like to make a financial donation. That is the one-stop clearing shop for everyone to find out all the things that we're doing here in this beautiful county. Wonderful. That's very good to hear. I'm so pleased that uh, things are working out for the American Red Cross, helping so many people and doing the work that you do. Um, thank you so very much, Tony Briggs, for joining us today on Our Ventura TV.